Hey guys, Crumb here, and I'm going to show you how to render the proper way so you don't make me mad. So first of all, you want to go to Start, find Total Media Extreme, and click Record Video. Wait for the module to open up. Then you want to go to Format Settings when this loads. God. You want to make sure that bitrate is at 13.5 and that is all you need to do. Okay. Now you want to open up your Sony Vegas. Click File. Import. Media. Then go down to your clip. Click on the clip. Drag it down into the timeline. And you can delete the order if you wish. Then you want to right click on the clip, go to switches, and disable resample. Now this is really important, otherwise your clips will be blurry when I try to edit them, and it will make me mad. Then you want to go to file, render as, go to the type as main concept AVC MP4, you want to click custom, and you want to get all these settings down 1 to 80 by 720 frame rate 59.94 and the variable bit rate 14 million for both the maximum and the average you then want to go to audio and tick include audio go to project video rendering quality at best click OK then give your video name test for instance and click save it will now render out and your video will be done and that is all you need to know for Sony Vegas. Now for those of you using After Effects, you want to open up After Effects, click File, Import, File, much like Vegas, go down, get the video you want, except when you do this you drag it down into onto this little box here and it will create the same thing like in Vegas. You want to make this box a little bigger so you do not see the black lines around the video. You then want to click Composition, Add to Render Queue, click on loss, Lossless, H.264 is the format, format options you want constant bitrate at 13.5 and the profile on high, click OK, tick audio output, I always forget to do this and it will have to make you re-render. Now click best settings, you want to click quality best, resolution full, use open GL render if you wish and make sure the comps frame rate is at 59.94 click OK now you want to click output 2 name it test 2 or whatever just for my purposes make sure it's in your video library or somewhere you know where to save it and click save yes now the last thing you have to do and don't forget it is click render it will then start to render out tell you the time remaining and you just have to wait yep so this has been my tutorial on how to render for dummies hope you liked it comment if I missed anything and yeah see ya